guys I'm here to show you the new Blackberry Storm 2 so the first thing I'm going to show you is the outside of the phone because it's the first thing you see when you buy a phone right so you have no buttons here which is the first thing I noticed when I got the phone so it's all smooth it's part of all like the screen right here you have the new chrome that Merm's putting on all of their phones you know like the Onyx the Tour which is pretty slick the battery door it's made out of metal in case you wonder right now it's a pretty good looking phone camera and the rest as you know the buttons on top of here which is power and silent so Another awesome thing about the phone is the plastic rubber buttons that Ram's putting on all of the phones. Same charger as the Storm One. Pam. Pow, pow. Huh? They're pretty cool, and every single time you press them, like I said, they respond. So that's always a good thing. Before I get into showing you the phone, I'm going to show you the part on the back of the phone, which is the same battery as your Tour. Here's where your SIM card's going to go. And here is where your SD card's going to go. So, bam. There you go. Nothing extra advanced. Cameras, 3.2 megapixel autofocus. Before we get into the phone, I'm going to show you something that the other Storm didn't have, which is psh, you have light in the buttons right here. And it makes the phone look really, really nice. And there's no light coming out of the edge of the screen, which is another plus, in my book at least. Storm 2. Storm 2, Storm 2 and Onyx, which are basically the same size except the Storm 2 is a little bit heavier, chunkier, and taller, basically bigger, <laughs> and Storm 2 and Tour. I think the only one that's not in the new family of the berries with the plastic buttons is a tour yet. So the Onyx comes with them. Before we actually get into the phone, I'm gonna show you the sure press thing that Kevin showed you. When the phone's off or locked, you cannot press on the screen. It's just like the iPhone. So that you compare it to the iPhone or a regular Blackberry screen. Like the Onyx, there's absolutely no pressing in there. But once you start it, Yep, it clicks. This is really fast, and I don't even have the latest software. So if you guys are watching the video, please consider the fact that this is really, really old OS I'm running the phone on, and it still works a hundred times better than the Storm I had before. So that should say something. Let's get into the OS of the phone, which basically looks, looks like the old one. It's really easy to press, guys. This is not like the sure press that the other one had, Storm 1. This is completely different and more accessible and easier to use. So let's go in here. I'm going to show you the memory. And bam. You have three memories. So you have application memory, device memory, and media card. So that's a lot of memory, really, for a phone. For everyone wondering if the storm is going to come with BlackBerry Messenger and threaded SMS? Yes, it does. Let's go to media right now. So you have your music, your videos, your ringtones, your pictures, voice, everything. So let's try the speakers. That's my video camera. <laughs> ringtones, which is basically my music. Uh, Pictures. Let's see what I can show you. How about this? 
It's a picture of wine. <laughs> It's, it's really fast compared to the first one. SMS right here. So you want to write a new one, go down here, and you text messaging. So it's going to come up like this, two, and right here. So you have 160 characters you can type in a single text message, just like the tour for everyone else. So delete A E. J, did I nail it? Yep, it's really easy and really easier and better to type in. Yeah. Every single time I press. The reason why mine sounds like that, it's because I don't have the battery cover on the back. So don't, don't get scared that it's gonna sound so annoying every single time you press something. My Storm 2 is running on AT&T right now on Edge. So this phone is a CD. MA version, so it would be for Verizon. But what I'm going to do, guys, is show you where you can turn it on and off. Let's see. Oh, that's uh, memory. Do you want to go to connections? And then mobile, mobile network options. I'm sorry, I'm typing and looking at the monitor at the same time. So right here is where you pick. So after playing with the phone for a while and looking at it and seeing how responsive it is and especially taking into consideration the fact that it's not a release device and the OS is really, really old compared to what they're running on right now. Would I get this phone? I would 100%. This is a lot of fun. The Storm 1, absolutely not, at least for me. This is a huge improvement by RAM. So good job, guys.